and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the Madden market. Now, obviously, guys, you guys typically like when I do these videos, and the Harvest promo did just drop, which is going to be a pretty big thing for the market obviously now this one today reversed on what we usually expect because of the way the promo goes now it's ironic how a promo could either kill or help the market depending on the dynamics of it so specifically the the october promo or the halloween promos those the way they went about what they did you needed coins to do them and then they gave us an abundance of players so the market actually went down because people were trying to get players they were selling a lot of things a lot of parts were able to be pulled a lot of free cards so that means that you didn't have to really buy the cards in the market you had to get the new cards so the older cards in the market went down now this promo specifically requires a lot of training and show you guys what i mean i'll show you guys in the store but to do a lot of these new players you need training so to get training you have to buy a lot of cards in the market and people don't care what card they buy they buy any card just to discard them which now makes all the cards go up as a whole so if you go over to where i'm going to show you guys is training currency and the side dish fantasy pack and the main course fantasy pack now people are doing a lot of these to get the cards to build up their seven their 76 overall um turkey day cards the turkey stuffers so to get those done you need training and now just for one of these guys it's going to cost a little like about ten thousand training give or take probably a little under like nine thousand six hundred so in theory you're gonna have to buy nine thousand six hundred coins worth of training which will take you about probably like let's just say a 92 a 93 overall card just about one of those two depending on the training value so in that sense it's got people with thousands of hundreds of thousands of people playing madden a lot of people are gonna be buying these cards so with that being said the market has went up quite a bit in certain aspects i'm gonna go over all that for you guys now if you guys have cards to sell you probably want to sell them soon because with the way the training is now the cards are going to be elevated here and then once people start getting off the hype of the training it will start to come back down especially if more things come out like during the blitz promo so i'm letting you guys know that so before we get into this video, guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys, come join the family, smash that like button, you guys have been crazy with the likes lately, so make sure, as of now, you guys are smashing that like button, let's see if we can get 300 likes in this video, you guys have been killing it lately, so make sure you're running that like button up, best way to show support, and comment down below what you guys are going to be doing with the market and what you guys plan to do. Now, let's head over to the auction block, I'll show you guys the elevated prices and kind of how I'm playing this right now, as you guys can see, my coins went up quite a bit, I did sell some stuff because of how cheap things were and how expensive they are now so with the way it is being the way it is now if you guys have some leftover cards i want you're probably better off selling them so starting off let's start off in like the 86 87 range so the 86s were a little below 40k a little above 40 now they're going towards like 50k guys like julio jones with 35k now they're 53k things have clearly went up and i don't expect that to change just yet so you guys don't have to sell everything right now but i would recommend you get to that point because if anything drops in this promo like a new way to get stuff or this once this promo is over the cards will start to come back down because in theory these cards have no value like in, in that sense like they don't have this kind of value they only have this value because people are buying at all the cheapest training options which eventually is going to skyrocket the market now coming into the 88s the 88s are going for like 50 something k they were not they're closer to 70k now and this was not the case before obviously they did drop some th harvest players that will flood the market a little bit but thanks to people buying everything for training and selling things for training and because these cards are technically collectibles and go into the sets people don't have a need to actually just sell these cards they actually need to use them so i mean that's always kind of the beauty of a promo like this where it actually could raise the market but you can't anticipate that right now let's say we say save training for the blitz which i think actually is a good idea to save training for the blitz so make sure you have some for that too but let's say the christmas promo another promo that typically needs training as far as how it went last year so i would i would say sell now and then between the christmas and thanksgiving when things get pretty cheap you could buy back and then prepare your training for them too which will go over obviously when the time comes but as we go up all the way up here the 89s are what 90 94k i believe yeah they're 91 90 89 these cards were more in the 75k range 80k range about a week ago obviously they're coming down a bit but that was expected i mean they they, they went up a bit obviously that was expected because of the way the dynamic of this promo is going now i wouldn't recommend buying much right now unless you really need the training i i want to do the sets and all but at this point i don't know how worthwhile it is to actually go ahead and do them just because of the price increase i'm going to go over that and obviously in another video going over the cheapest way to finish the sets and seeing what we can do mathematically wise in that terms in that sense but like guys like Cameron jordan we're going for like 105 reggie white 110 uh, austin eckler was like 100k flat things have really went up quite a bit especially these base legends and these mud heroes which were quite cheap after the whole exchange set stuff that they dropped going into series three if we keep on going down and down let's see what else we got you know, I mean, I guess for all you people who didn't actually sell things, this is your time to start selling because you guys got lucky. 
things did actually go up. Some cars didn't move too much, like Brian Dawkins. Now, the reason Brian Dawkins won't move is because he actually wasn't a cheap training value because he's actually a really good car to people. Never really, he never really got cheap enough to be a training value. So pretty much all the cars that are crashed are coming back up. Cars that never crashed, like Brian Dawkins, won't be impacted too much. So you don't have to worry about guys like that. Lamar Jackson's above 300K, guys. Like, I don't want to sell my Lamar, but I also can't say that that's not a good idea considering I don't know how much longer there's going to be without another upgrade. But if he gets another upgrade, his value shouldn't change too much. But if another card like him comes out like a Vic, which I don't think a Vic will come out at least until Christmas. So we got time on that. The only thing that could kill his value is a Patrick Mahomes with all above 90 throwing stats with 82 speed. It's about the only thing. The Dak Prescott obviously can get a 90 in 82 speed. That's what I meant to say. 82 speed for the threshold if he gets the upgrade on Thanksgiving. So if that does happen, but I don't think Dak's throwing stats are good enough to really warrant a big change in the Lamar Jackson's value. Now, the 92s and 93s, if you guys do remember, the 92s were at like 205, 210K. Now, they're at 265. Like, guys like Tyler Lockett are 276. This is higher than they even were at their best during the Halloween promo. Their highest was like high 280s going to 300K. So, they're back at that value. So, if you guys still have those, it's a good time to sell. Dallas Clark was going for like literally 205 a week ago, which just kind of sucked that, you know, that we, we could have had these cars for so much cheaper quite a while ago. Reed was like 285. You know, it sucks. It really does, considering that we were anticipating that this wouldn't happen. But it's the A for you. They got to always change it up. So, I mean, now, you know, you got to be careful. This right here, the Legends, if you, if you filter them out, they're really expensive now. So, the only thing I can say is that if you want Legends, wait till Legends Saturday, which will be tomorrow. That should bring the prices down quite a bit. At least enough to if you want to actually buy cards. But LTD Donald Driver, 400K, he was going for like 6 7 he at least came down a little bit, but again, he is an LTD, so we can't really factor him into the pricing. Let's check out the series redux, see how they changed. I know some of them went up. Some of them actually came down quite a bit because of like guys like Michael Irvin. I did tell you that, that if the Masters were good enough, they would lower the price of these cards. So like Matt Ryan went up. He was like more like 230. Then we got Kamara. He was in the 300 range. Le'Veon Bell was in the 300 range. He went up quite a bit. Gronk sitting around the 400 range. So is Calvin. They actually came down a little bit. Now, Vic's been steady around here because Vic should really not be as high as he is because I think Lamar's the better option for the price. But as we go on down, one guy specifically is Randy Moss in the 600K range. And that is because, in my opinion, I think Michael Irvin is better than him. Michael Irvin is a way better route runner, a way better catcher, and he's faster and can jump just as well. The only difference is a two inch difference, which obviously is a big deal and all. But Michael Irvin also has after the catch moves, which Randy Moss does not really have. So Michael Vick kind of blows him away, which is why Moss is on the downturn, which is why I probably won't be picking up Moss anymore. I'll probably just wait. Then guys like Kittle, he's staying pretty steady. I saw him for 600K earlier, so. The reduxes are weird. You can't really you can't really base them off of the newer cards because reduxes are gonna have their value no matter what until the game keeps progressing in days as it gets older. As these cards get older, they just have to come down naturally. Now another guy that did come out was Night Train Lane, which is probably why my Deion Sanders in the 700k range. Although I still like Deion Sanders a little more than Night Train Lane. I definitely want to have both. I think having both on my team will be awesome for my team in general. Now coming over to the 94s, are we gonna check out the newer cards? Let's go check out those. I think that'll be a little interesting to check out. Let's get into this and come on load. And we got Michael Irvin for 498. He's gonna sit around 500K. Him and Night Train Lane. Obviously, people are valuing Night Train Lane a little bit higher, but I find that weird. I think Michael Irvin's the better of the two because powered up and chemmed up, he's gonna have all above 90 route running, which is gonna make him like Antonio Brown back in the day when we used to have those nice Antonio Brown route running cards. With athleticism, with crazy catching, powered up and chemmed up, this guy's going to be the best wide receiver in Madden 20 right now. And if you go on down below to his after the after the catch stats. He has an 80 stiff arm, 84 spin, 90 juke move. So he's going to have the juke threshold powered up, and he has a really good stiff arm for a wide receiver. And I wonder what his run blocking is as a wide receiver. B press is 91. That's insane. And let's see. His broken tackle is an 85. I wonder if he has any decent run block because he seems kind of physical. I mean, 54 run block power is decent. I see. I mean, I figured he was kind of physical, so he'd have a little bit more. And then obviously, Night Train Lane. Now, I don't anticipate these guys will sit in the 500K range. I think eventually they'll settle down to like mid, mid 400Ks, which will be when I want to buy them. Will I buy them sooner? Possibly so I can get them on the channel, show them to you guys and stuff, powered up. Or I'll just end up doing the set, obviously. But at the moment, I cannot advise buying. I really can't. I think it's the time to sell, take advantage of the rising prices, because I don't think it'll last for that long. Obviously, as we know, how long can a Dallas Clark be 280K? Because that is not his value. At least they did something to recover the market a little bit, because it was kind of dead for a while. People were really struggling to sell cards back, considering the values. And if you have power-ups, guys, of these players, you probably want to sell them now. I don't really anticipate them going up anymore. Probably only come down such as like Joey Bosa Odell. It does kind of suck that if you guys didn't sell them already, you kind of missed out on the big the big hype boom, but it is what it is. Guys, in my opinion, with the blitz coming within like a, probably a week from today, just about, 
Prices are going to be sporadic for a few weeks until everything's done. The Blitz specifically really just changes the dynamic of the market. If a Blitz drops a training offer, training's going to skyrocket. If a Blitz drops a coin offer, people are going to spend a lot of coins on that. Maybe, maybe, maybe they have to sell some cards. Maybe the market comes down. It all really depends on how the Blitz goes, but the Blitz is going to change the market tremendously again. So for now, I'd recommend selling. And then when the Blitz promo comes out, you really want to play the market. If you play the market right with the Blitz, with buying, training, selling, training, you could potentially make a ton of coins. So you always want to stay on top of that. Now guys, I will have a few more videos coming for you guys today over what to do with your coins. I will have some videos going on for you today, probably the Harvest Daily Solo number two, since I was not around to do that yesterday. Obviously, you guys struggled with that, so I got to get that for you guys. Sorry about that one. I was not home, I was in school, and I did not see it when it first came out. But we will have the day two tomorrow, or I should say in a little bit, probably like half an hour. So hopefully I get that done for you guys today. And guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys have been crazy lately with the support. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day and watch the videos. I try my best to get the best information for you guys, like the market. Hopefully this helps you guys. And if you guys have any questions on selling and what you want to do with your team, make sure to comment it down below or hit me up on Twitter. DM me directly. I answer all my I answer most of my questions. If I don't see them, guys, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm just busy and I, I see them, but then they get flooded by other things. And by the time I get down, there's too many to go read through. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys need help on. I mean, like I said, I can advise selling right now. Uh, if you have some training, it's probably a good thing. I luckily have a little bit of training plus an Indama Kung Su sitting there not that I can hook sell. So at least I don't have enough training for at least one card for now. I really don't want to buy training. The market is way too elevated on that. But thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on you, boys. Like I said, comment down below if you need any help. Never hesitate to ask. I answer as many questions as I can. I know a lot of you loyal supporters out there come in each and every day to help me out and support the channel. So I try to give it back in any way I can. And if you guys are new, like I said, subscribe. Hit that noti bell, boys. Make sure to run this like button up. Can we get 300 likes in this video? Guys, go crazy on this video. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to stay on the lookout for the other. Hopefully, I post four videos today. That's kind of the goal. And that's about it, guys. Make sure to show support in all those. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.